Welcome to another guide too, with me, Mr. Sealy P. The Man TGS Agro Truck Pack for Consoles. This is a new mod pack out for consoles um, by Catfan18 Mods. Um, there's some nice vehicles in this, um, some interesting changes, some things that are going to work out quite handy. But there are a couple of little things that I don't, I never like doing it, I never like criticizing mods. But there are a couple of issues which I will bring up in a little while. There are three in this pack there is a standard man TGS, there's the man TGS with the tipper back, um, which is deeper and shorter. And then we've got a longer version here, which is a lower bed on the back, um, which actually is a smaller capacity than that one we're going to have a look in store at what's available then we'll have a look over the mods we'll talk through all the bits and bobs as we go so starting off in the store if we go to trucks and we go along we have got the man tgs agro truck 125,000 pounds um this one is 480 horsepower but there are options available top speed of 55 miles per hour and it's only 125,000 as I've already just said if we scroll across to the in-game man the man TGS 18480 it's 165,000 so 40,000 more it's also 480 horsepower top speed of 49 miles an hour so the newer modded version is 6 miles an hour faster and 40 grand cheaper but then obviously slot counts that time mind you the man tgs 18 for the standard one takes up a 19 slot so yeah it's not not too shabby in that department even the phoenix 6x6 is still 138,000. so that's not too bad for a standard version when we click on it we've got a few options available 18480 or the 18580 which will be 580 horsepower we'll set up standard or knock-in tires six by six 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 by six six knock-in back to standard design added lights or standard design color that's the color of the cab you can pick from the usual array you find in the game not too bad at all so we'll come out of there and then we'll look at the next one we'll look at the, all of them in store first then we'll have a look at them in game say in reality they're not in reality so the next one up is the man tgs agro truck for 167,000. the base model of the vehicle is the same it's 480 horsepower 55 miles per hour um but this has the the back loading section on the on the back which is 13,500 liters and it will take all of the things that are along the bottom there too many to list while we're sitting here but all the usual suspects are all there which is going to be pretty handy um you could argue then surely it's cheaper just to buy a trailer which is thirteen thousand five hundred liters way way cheaper yes you'd probably be right in that this is my only dilemma at the moment this is not a pack where the backs are detachable or anything they, they come as this this is one of the first things i wanted to kind of mention but options available we can have 480 horsepower or 580 horsepower the main color now this this be careful it doesn't catch you out the main color you can have green or blue is the color of the back section um we'll set up six by four six by four knock-in that's it design standard or added lights which is the same as one before the design color is the color of the cover of the trailer section the rear section um the cab itself although the picture shows you white comes out red which is unusual it doesn't give you the option to change the cab color um unlike on the first one so again never mind but we'll have a look at those again in a second then we've got the tgs agro truck 448,000 which is kind of comes in between um, interestingly uh, this 
same thing again 480 horsepower 55 miles per hour this has only got 12,580 litre bed but it's a longer bed and lower so yeah it'll be horses for courses what you want to do with it what what fits your gameplay what you like you might not like any of them but those are the options available um 480 or 580 horsepower uh main color there is um the color of the trailer bed on the back green blue or that kind of gray looking color this is the interesting bit as well six by four six six by four six nokian six by four six stiff six by four six stiff nokian and then back to standard then we've got design standard added lights and then we've got design color which is your cab so on the third one you can change the cab color to whatever you want so it's only the middle one that you can't change the cab color of which is interesting you'd think if the kind of mod came out as a pack you'd be able to do the same with all of them but you can't with the middle one it's a bit peculiar never mind let's actually have a look at them so the first one is your standard man truck with your fifth wheel on the back for towing usual trailers only slight downside to this one you can't add and attach on the back so this will pull your semi trailers but you can't pull normal trailers with this one um, so it's only minor little thing the detailing on these are very very good and even down to the rivets and bolts and gearbox cover it's all here very very nice that's got the stand I went for standard wheels on this one not the knock-ins obviously I went for Mr. CDP green that's a, a given now um, the front hitch here does work I'll show you that in operation in a minute um, it's got like a visor at the top and this is the standard one I didn't go for extra lights and we'll just have a quick hop in and look inside it's actually not bad in here at all is it very nice interior wing mirrors working let's turn the engine off dials working yep speedo that's fine no clock in it but not bad at all let's have a look at our lighting situation we've got beacons on the top I don't know why it's just one of those weird quirky things I like the ones that flash alternately or alternately to you say it rather than both at the same time I don't know why it's a weird little thing isn't it lights normal lights main beam and then super main beam well actually it's probably side lights main headlights main beam there you go anyway that off um, so yeah this will pull an all semi trailer look down you can see the transmission or is that the differential could be the differential um, spinning there a little bit closer as we move forward nice detail I like that so there we go that's our standard version jump out of there the second version is the one with the stockier trailer bed on the back of it so we'll jump in this one this one uh, I've gone with knocking in tires and additional lights and like I say you can change the color of the actual back section and the cover but the actual cab is red so you can't do anything about that whether that will get changed it will get adjusted I don't know let's just lower that down and put the cover on so I've gone for the yellow cover on this one it's a nice little unit but like I say for 13,500 litres and you can't take that trailer bed off the back it, yeah you think would you buy one of these you probably want a bigger capacity it has got a trailer hitch on the back so you can hitch up other trailers onto it as well so I suppose yeah a combination um, but then if you buy a truck don't you want to be able to use it for um, pulling semis as well yeah I don't know it's a it's one of those weird little things anyway so lights side lights main beam work lights you've got the ones across the top as well 
Turn those off. Beacons. Now, as far as the back goes, let me just open up the menu. So, we have got open cover, L1, side, opens up the cover. And then we have got L1, sorry, R1. I can then change using the D-pad if I press down, tip side back, tip side grain door, tip side left, tip side right. Just back up a little bit. And if I go to L1, R1, I can do unload here. I'll close that back down again. And we'll change to grain door. Tip side grain door. Unload here. Close it down again. Then we can go to tip side left. And then the opposite again will then be tip side right. So, a few different options available for the tipping. Quite right the right, way, isn't it? But not too bad at all. I like this. Now, like I said, I've gone for the other version as well. That's also here because I wasn't sure about the colours and I wanted to double check. But the other version I got here was the one with standard tyres. That one's got the knock-ins, the knobbly tyres. That's got standards. That one has got the green back and the grey cover. Obviously that one's the blue back with the yellow cover. Um, but the cabs are both red. You can't do anything about that. That comes red as standard. It's a minor thing, but, you know, one of those things you think, oh, maybe they could have... I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I don't like to criticise. Um, now, like I said, the front hitch works. I'm going to go... I've got the Brantner trailer. So, front hitch does work if you need to move any trailers about. Often you've got a bit more control when you're doing it from the front, but there you go, should you want to. And the rear hitch works as well. So if you want to hook up multiple trailers, I guess you can. It seems, again, it's for, for a small back 13,500 litres, having a 580 horsepower cab, unless you're going to hook up quite a few trailers behind this, or another big one, it seems like a waste of horsepower. I don't know. So maybe that's just me. I don't know. So, that's the second one. The third one is the one I have a couple of issues with. And it's a pity, because I like the third one. I do like the fact you've got the sort of six wheel option. So three axles. Um, I've gone for the knock in tyres on this one. I've changed the colour to orange. I've got front lights. And I've gone for the grey bed on the back. I have got one over here, which I went for the white cab, green back, standard tyres. There's a couple of options. When it says about um, stiff, this one I've gone for stiff, that one I haven't, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. Now here is my issue with this one, and it's, I don't know, I think it's quite a big thing, I, do you know if it's just me or not? I don't know if it's just because it's the way it's downloaded and installed, or whether it's a glitch with the mod, whether it will need an update, but if you look at the front of this cab, how smooth the design is and neat and tidy, everything's very, very nice, this one, there's like lines and ridges and bumps you see up close all over it you come around to the front on the wing mirror and then across the bonnet or the front here of the cab lines across here like I don't know it just looks it looks really untidy I don't know what's happened there I don't I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be like that I mean I could be wrong but when you step back a bit it looks I don't know it's a bit of a mess um, correct me if I'm wrong, if it's supposed to look like that, I, I'm, I'm not sure if it is, but I don't know, it just looks, yeah, it doesn't look as crisp and clean as the other two. There's none, none of that on these at all. Very smooth, very nice detailing. That one just looks, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's me, let me know if it is, but there you go, just one of those little things. So, start it up. Beacons lights the same now this one when I say stiff 
front axle to steers and that's it that's what it means by stiff when it says that you can have standard stiff knock-in stiff I've gone for the knock-ins let's close that bed down the bed on the back of this one is exactly the same as the bed on the other one you do get all the other options available tip side left tip side right tip side back and when you do tip side back I like the fact that when you do this it opens the back door first so something about that looks really cool so yeah really my only kind of gripe and it's, it's, a, it's just a small gripe it's, it's a little thing um, the trailer hitch works in the back as the, does the one in the front is that that issue with the cab I, you know minor thing maybe maybe not now I'm going to show you this one if you look at the back axle the back axle steers as well so as I steer now when I first bought this or leased it and put it into the game it was showing two wheels at the back here and when I turned them it just one stayed still it looked awful I don't know what was wrong with it so all I did if I go into the menu at the top if I go L1 R1 at the bottom right control stick I can raise or lower and now again uh, it's a little minor thing but a little bit gripey if I raise that I can raise that rear axle up out of the way as soon as it's raised up out of the way I think it kind of assumes because it isn't been in contact with the road it's clean um, as soon as I lower it back down again so when I first had it it seemed to be there was a double wheel there and it looked awful when it was turning once I raised and lowered it once that changed um, and it's yeah it's fine now but you can raise and lower that rear axle and it is steerable if you get the standard it's only stiff if you get the stiff version um, but other than that that's exactly the same as well I, I apologize now if this comes across as, as a negative mod uh, like guide to it's not intended to be uh, at all I like the mod when I saw them I do like the fact we got something different again some different trucks but those two little things the thing you know the fact that these beds on the back are fixed you can have that or not that's it and that is a standard one that pulls a semi but you can't have a back attacher um, but I have to say that would be a kind of go-to vehicle then it's cheaper to buy um, higher uh, well higher top speed that's pretty good have that with a set of front lights as well very nice indeed maybe some lock-ins on it lovely these two I really really like and I guess you would have to use it in conjunction with other trailers um, and it will come down to what you want on your particular farm or map or whatever you're doing I just hope that is an issue that maybe gets um, gets fixed I, I'm, I'm just really saying what I'm seeing in front of me um, I, that's all I can do that's what I've got that's what's in front of me that's all I can sound it really um, yeah so that's the mod review guide to um, done on all three overall very very nice I do like them I like the pack I like the idea um, I just hope there's going to be an update maybe to sort out a couple of those little issues um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have if you've liked it give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching